Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Love by Nat King Cole. Okay, so give you a preview of that awesome main theme before we start learning it. It goes like this, check it out. Etc. Okay, but anyways, let's get right into learning the main melody and chords because that's the foundation of a song. From that, you can add your own improvisations and decorations into it. Okay, so here we go. Let's break it up to parts that's easier to learn. So break it up to four parts. The first part goes like this, okay? So right hand starts on the G up here, middle C is here for reference, go up an octave C, G right here, okay? So it goes G, and then two F sharps, and then E, D sharp, E, G, and then two F sharps. That's it for the first part. Let's do it again. So it goes G, F sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, E, G, F sharp, F sharp. And that's it for the first part. Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are G major 7, which is four note chord, is G, B, D, F sharp, and then A minor 7, which is A, C, E, G, which is another four note chord. So let's do it again. So it goes G major 7, followed by A minor 7. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this G and G major 7 together. G and A minor 7 together. That's it for the first part. Let's do it again. This goes together. Together. That's it for the first part. Moving on to the second part. Okay, right hand continues. Goes F sharp, E, E, D, C sharp, D, F sharp, E, E. And that's it for the second part for the right hand. Let's do it again. This goes F sharp, E, E, D, C sharp, D, F sharp, E, E. That's it for the right hand for the second part. Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are D7, uh, second inversion, which is four note chord A, C, D, F sharp, and then G major seven, which is G, B, D, F sharp. All right, so with these two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this, F sharp and the chord together. F sharp and G major seven together. And there you have it. Okay, one more time, so together. Together. Moving on to the third part, right hand goes up to the, uh, actually before we do that, let's uh, play the two parts we've learned so far back to back so you know what it sounds like, so it goes. Yes, okay now moving on to the third part now, right hand goes up to B. A, A, G, F sharp, G, B, A, A, G, F sharp, G. That's it for the third part. Let's do it again. So it goes B, A, A, G, F sharp, G, B, A, A, G, F sharp, G. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are G7, which is G, B, D, F, fully white note, four note chord, and then C major 7, which is another fully white note chord, which is C, E, G, B, another four note chord. However, so yeah, let's do it again. So G7 and G major, uh, sorry, G7 and C major 7. Okay, so with that in mind, turn together B and G7 together. B and C major 7 together. And that's it for the third part. One more time, so it goes together. Together. Moving on. Uh, before we do that, once again, back to back, the three parts I've learned so far will be play like this. Okay, 
moving on to the fourth and last part. Right hand goes up to B. A, A, G, F sharp, G, B, A, A, G, G, F sharp, E, F sharp. And that's it for this third, uh, no, fourth part for the right hand. One more time, this goes B, A, A, G, F sharp, G, B, A, A, G, G, F sharp, E, F sharp. And that's it for the right hand for the fourth part, okay? Okay. So, uh, left hand to so two chords here, we have A7, which is A, C sharp, E, G, and then D7, which is D, F sharp, A, C. So with these two chords in mind, two hands together, goes like this. So B and A7 together. B and D7 together. That's it, one more time, this goes together. Together. And there you have it, back to back, all four parts will be played like this. Oops, okay. And you repeat it, okay? So once you get all the melody and chords all good, you can start to add your own improvisation and decoration patterns. Left hand, you can do like octave bass note, arpeggio patterns, rhythmic patterns. That kind of thing. And then right hand, you can harmonize the bass on the chords to make it thicker in texture. So you can do something like this. You can be like... Play around with it, it's a pretty fun and playful theme. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. By the way, if you want to learn more Nat King Cole classic songs like these, go ahead and search the channel and find the other songs similar to this to learn. Okay, but as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.